Hi, my name is Khadija Mella. I'm 18 years old. I ride at Ebony Horse Club and I'm riding the 2019 Magnolia Cup. I started riding like quite earlier on in life, like sort of like 10 years old, but I'd only ride once a while and it was quite a rare thing. I just loved horses. I didn't really get involved with horses until Ebony, <laughs> age 12-ish. So the documentary is called Riding a Dream and myself, my brother and two friends, filmmakers Tom and Matty, um, had this idea about six months ago, probably seven months ago, to take one of the riders from Ebony and, and put them into a horse race, which is obviously something very close to my heart and my, my industry. And through a combination of, of, of Ebony's help, GBR obviously have been a massive help to it, we were able to, to find Khadija and, um, and document her journey from an inner city riding club in London to one of the biggest racing stages of all at Goodwood in the Magnolia Cup. And for it to be successful and to have, have worked touch wood as well as it has, we needed someone determined, ambitious and, and brilliant. And we found that with Khadija. I'm feeling quite prepared actually, because um, despite the fact that a lot of my other competitors have had more time and had more focus on riding out because like I had my A level so I sort of joined the party a bit late <laughs> yeah. um, and I ended up only start I like only started riding racehorses what a month and a half ago two months ago um, and the race is so so close but I, f I feel like I've learned the ropes now it's all good when we first started this journey um, we spoke to our parents we spoke to, to her school we spoke to Ebony and we said look this is a big challenge that we're undertaking or Khadija's undertaking um, but she's always had a smile on her face. She was doing um, her A-levels when she started out in her training. She was on Ramadan as well. Um, so physically it was a real challenge. Um, but not only that, she had to learn how to be a jockey as well. So that's a huge physical challenge in itself. And uh, once her A-levels finished, the improvement she's shown with her riding when she's been here at the racing school and sort of dedicated her training to, to being a jockey, it has honestly been phenomenal. And you'll see that journey in the documentary. And it's such a wonderful, positive story because you see someone who never expected that she would ever ride in a horse race. And you can see her blossom day in, day out through this, through this wonderful story. And hopefully people find it as warm and as, as, and as lovely as, as we have making it. Um, and a six furlong sprint start is key. So I'm just gonna try and make sure that I keep nice and calm so it sort of reflects in the horse and me and Havlan don't end up facing the wrong direction at the start. To be fair, I've actually not really th thought about the fact that, you know, now I am racing properly, like, is there a chance I can win? Because I feel like everyone else is just so up there, like, Victoria Pendleton, if I beat her, oh my God, what? Hopefully through Khadija's journey and her tale, um, people not only in racing but outside of racing will see that there are opportunities, uh, they do exist, and it doesn't matter where you're from, uh, it doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter about anything. Uh, if you set your mind to it and if people are willing to, to, to open doors, then, then barriers can be knocked down.